Judy wrote to us with a unique challenge, and I quote, I sit in a wheelchair and or scooter all day, so losing weight has been a real challenge. I exercise as I am able. Any other tips? End quote. Thank you so much, Judy, for reaching out to us. I can see, certainly see, how your situation would make losing weight a challenge. But don't despair. Here's the good news. Research has shown that you get way more bang for your weight loss buck by changing what you eat versus just increasing exercise alone. Now, why is that so? Because it's hard to out-exercise the calories that we take in. Let me give you an example. Let's say you decide you want to eat uh, one piece of double layer chocolate cake. You've already had all the calories that, you're, that you should have for the day in order to lose weight, but you want this piece of cake. So you eat the cake, maybe it takes five minutes or less, but in order to burn off those calories, a person would have to walk about four miles. So you can eat the piece of cake in five minutes, but you would have to uh, walk for an hour or more. So you get my point. Um, so what is the best way to eat in order to lose weight and keep that weight off? Well, lots and lots of great research has shown that a high fiber diet of whole unprocessed fiber foods is the best way to go. So, what are whole unprocessed fiber foods? Well, these are foods you already know, Judy. You're probably eating some of them. You just need to eat a lot more of them. There are four main categories, fruits, vegetables, beans and legumes like uh, black-eyed peas, pinto beans, lentils, um, and then whole grains that are cooked. These are whole grains that you have to cook in water before you eat them. So that would be things like old-fashioned oatmeal, steel-cut oats, brown rice, quinoa. So these foods, um, some combination of these foods, when, when most of your plate is filled with them, this is the way to lose weight and keep it off. Now, let me tell you a little bit more about why this is so. These foods have fiber and a lot of water. Both of those do not have any calories. So when you fill your plate with these whole unprocessed fiber foods, you're going to be taking in less calories without even thinking about it, without even having to count. And, uh, and that eliminates all the you know, skimpy portions that are associated with so many diets and weight loss eating plans. And then the second great thing is that the water and fiber in these foods actually fill you up after you eat a bunch of, this, of these fiber foods and you actually feel full longer. So you don't have to deal with all the hunger and deprivation that's associated with so, much, so many popular diets. And you know, an added bonus, Judy, is that these foods are filled with vitamins and minerals and all kinds of wonderful uh, plant substances that science has shown help us to stay healthy and avoid disease. All the while, we are losing weight. Um, so th this approach, this high fiber diet from whole unprocessed fiber foods is a win-win-win. So here's what you do, Judy. Just start adding these fiber foods uh, to your meals. For instance, you might have a piece of fruit added to breakfast, or you could add uh, to lunch a uh, some beans to your salad, or as a side dish. For dinner, you could have a bunch of steamed vegetables, uh, one vegetable, maybe your favorite or a combination, and you want to add these foods and increase your fiber gradually. This is this um, you know takes time to increase your fiber intake. If you're not used to eating all kinds of fiber foods, you want to let your body get adjusted to the increased amounts of fiber and all that good stuff. So here's the goal, Judy. You want to fill eventually. This takes time. 75% of your plate, illustrated it by the green part of the plate, with some combination of these fiber foods, fruits, vegetables, beans, cooked whole grains. And um, when you do that, at every meal, uh, every day on a consistent basis, you're going to be able to lose the weight and keep it off. Now, what goes in the remaining 25% of the plate, illustrated by the blue? Everything else. And it's your choice. So all the food with no fiber, that would be meat, chicken, fish, dairy products, all the processed food goes here. 
desserts, liquid calories, beverages, they all and go in just 25% of your plate. So if you want to have several of these foods, you want to shrink down the portions so that all of them uh, sitting side by side on your plate only takes up 25% of your plate. Now, a couple other tips. Eventually, you know, eliminate all liquid calories. Just drink water between meals and, and eliminate snacks. In fact, you won't need to snack. When you're filling 75% of your plate with these natural fiber-rich foods, you will feel full, stay full longer, you won't be hungry between meals, so there's no need to snack. Remember, every time we eat, when we're not hungry, we're taking in calories we don't need, and of course, that's going to lead to weight gain, not weight loss. So, don't despair, Judy. Um, even though you can't do as much exercise as other people, you can lose weight and keep it off um, by eventually filling 75% of your plate at every meal, every day with some combination of these natural fiber-rich foods.